Hello everyone, um, my name's Tom. I did my project with uh, Amnesty International. For the next five minutes, I want to tell you about a man named Miguel. This is Miguel. He works on the media team at Amnesty International. As I suspect many of you already know, Amnesty is a global charity that highlights and campaigns against human rights abuses. One of the big components of the work that Amnesty does is doing research and conducting in investigations. And as a result, they put out a lot of press releases, upwards of five a day, which is more than just about any other charity. Now, one of Miguel's jobs is to understand the media impact of these press releases, which is particularly difficult because on any given day, Amnesty will be in the news for multiple different reasons. So the goal of my project was to see if data science could be used to help Miguel do his job. So let me first take you through the former process. This is what Miguel used to do. First, using a media monitoring service, he would do a web search for articles that mentioned Amnesty. Then, he would manually collate all of the results into a big Excel spreadsheet. Now, this process is so laborious that recently Amnesty started partially outsourcing it to a third party at some expense. Finally, once all the data had been collated, he would, he would compute some simple statistics such as headline mentions, number of hits for each story, and so on. So this process is almost entirely manual, and it's really time consuming. Miguel would spend two and a half days of his week just preparing this giant spreadsheet. Not only that, but these third party services that he had to use are pretty expensive. And perhaps worst of all, uh, the process is super slow. So it operates at about a six week lag, meaning any insights from the data aren't actionable. Um, you can only use that to inform future decisions about press releases. So that's what they used to do. Let me show you what they can do now. So I've built a automatic media monitoring application, which is currently largely productionized. This is a screenshot of the front end, uh, which is using Power BI, a reporting tool that Amnesty uses for their internal reports. Miguel can simply log onto his account, and he's presented with a high-level summary of Amnesty in the media up to the previous day. On the right, you can see some key statistics and visualizations. And on the left, the data can be filtered by, for example, news outlet, country, language, and thanks to some data science behind the scenes, by press release. So for example, on a different tab, we can look at a full list of results. And from a drop-down menu, I can just select a press release I'm interested in, and I see all of the news articles that correspond to that press release, allowing me to understand which articles, uh, which press releases, sorry, are getting coverage. So you may be wondering, how does this all work? <coughs> so everything is implemented in Python and is running on an a virtual machine hosted on Microsoft's cloud platform. I collect news articles by making queries to a news feed API, and I collect press releases by scraping Amnesty's RSS feed. Then everything is stored in a big database. Then a matching algorithm I wrote reaches into the database and decides which news articles are likely to be related to recent press releases. It then matches those up. I've also interfaced with Microsoft's translator so that this can cover multiple different languages, since Amnesty is operating in many different countries around the world. Finally, once all the articles and press releases are matched up, the visualizations and statistics that you saw earlier are produced by Power BI reaching into this database and making queries. I can also automatically recreate the same spreadsheet that Miguel was spending half his week on automatically and export it to cloud storage so it's ready and waiting on his computer every Monday morning. So to summarize, this has had a positive impact in the following ways. First of all, we can now provide real-time insight on Amnesty's impact in the media, so Amnesty can react to ongoing coverage if they need to. Secondly, it integrates very well with their existing technology infrastructure. All the technology I used is stuff that Amnesty already had a subscription to. Uh, it saves the media team a lot of time, so they can focus on qualitative analysis rather than quantitative analysis, which is now done automatically. And Amnesty is now in the process of reviewing their media monitoring costs. Um, hopefully they can save some money over time. But perhaps, most importantly of all, Miguel is really happy about it. Thank you very much. For